Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Keswick Ripple Podcast. My name is Jim Lang. I'm the Director of Guest Services here at America's Keswick. And each week we want to bring you a testimony that we hope encourages your heart and life. One of the most dynamic parts of our ministry is that when a man or woman comes to one of our programs and is radically changed by the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. they're then sent out to their churches, their communities and families, and God uses them in mighty ways. And so today we have a, we have a special guest today. Uh, my friend John is here to share a little oh, bit of his Lord. testimony. And John is a graduate of the program. He's actually in discipleship right now. And so John, thank you for, for taking a little time to join us today and, and share a little of your story. Thank you, Jim. It's good to be here. And I uh, thank you for this opportunity. And I just wanted to say, I don't know uh, what Allie's feeding you or if it's the vitamins you're taking, but you're just getting more handsome every time <laughs> I see it. So. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, why don't you, John, why don't you start out by telling us, um, you know, what, what life looked like before coming to the colony? Oh my gosh. So, um, I want to say insanity. It was good times, but, uh, a lot of times it was it was rough, but I I've, I know what it is to have it good, and I also know what it is to have it as you know bad. Um, you know, um, before the colony, um, I was living in Tom's River. Um, I'd lost another job uh, being in full time ministry due to compromise and everything. And um, at this point, I was just working in general customer service, and uh, through compromise, once again, I lost everything. And uh, here I am. Okay. Yeah. So how did you how did you hear about the colony? What finally made you decide to come? So um, I'm no stranger to the colony. <laughs> um, I'm a graduate of 2009, and um, I thought I had it. I thought I was good, <laughs> and uh, the evidence would state that I wasn't good. And um, I came back to humble myself and to uh, grow in Christ. So what is yeah. what has been the the most challenging? thing about this this go around in, in the colony um that's a loaded question jim <laughs> um i haven't had it easy at all um it's been very rewarding very challenging and also very good and um i think the best thing that i could say is myself i am probably the most <laughs> challenging part of dealing with what's inside and uh dealing with the sin and the issues of my life that I've come to the colony. So you've been here probably like six, almost six months now? Yes, sir. Going on. So what is the main thing over the last six months that God's really kind of been pressing on your heart? Well, um, you know, I wanted to give you the textbook answer, the Sunday school answer, yeah. Jesus, uh, about the main thing that he's been teaching me. But um, honestly, that he's a good father. He's merciful. He's patient. He loves me. He accepts me. Um, I have been that way my entire life that he loved me and I never saw that. And thinking that I had to have it better or, you know, other things and accumulate all this other stuff and have this and that. And no, it's like, he's showing me like, I want to say knucklehead, but I love you. I love you. And I, I have a plan for you and it's in me that you're going to find life. So, um, so yeah. as I said in the beginning, you, you signed on for uh, discipleship, discipleship extension. So kind of what went into that decision making process? Well, um, I believe from the get go that this is what I wanted to do, that this was, I was committed, whatever it took. Um, but, in the process uh, with Chaplain Juan, I love that man. I thank God for that man. Um, he he would say, "Oh, do you want this?" Like he would pass off like the next step mm -hmm. way before um, uh, Chaplain Nolan, my mentor, uh, would say, "Hey, if you stay, pray about me being your mentor." And so it was like guiding into those steps of that this is the way to go. I just I knew it because I wasn't in any rush but I wasn't sure because I want to walk in what God has. So it was kind of like through those little confirmations of, you know, what God had planned for me. So, so part of the discipleship program is, is trauma counseling is, is available to the men mm -hmm. who are in discipleship. And so you, you enrolled in that. Uh, how has God been using that counseling in, in your life over the last few weeks? So <laughs> I think about a friend uh, who said a couple weeks ago, all right, have fun. And I was like, yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm going to go get my heart ripped up and, <laughs> and, you know, have all this fun. And it's like, no, um, my first session was absolutely rough. Uh, uh, Pastor Noah, at the end of it all, said, that was great. And I said, <laughs> what do you mean that was great? No, it wasn't great. It was painful. But uh, through the process of that, um, you know, dealing with anger, I didn't think I had trauma. Chaplain Craig from the door told me from the beginning, 
you're going to focus on trauma. So I was like, I'm good. I don't have trauma. And sure enough, all these things just that have been bottled inside and, and dealing with stuff that is just coming out that I had no idea um, what was going on. And so in this process, um, God is using it to just heal my life, anger, uh, you know, uh, lust, just sins of my life that, that I didn't know, I couldn't see yeah. too much, you know. Yeah. So. so one of the neat things about this podcast is there, there's statistically there's probably someone watching today who's, who's struggling with addiction. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? You're loved. You are accepted. God has created you for a purpose. Uh, don't beat yourself up. Take things slow. You know, learn to come to Jesus and, uh, you know, just be transparent. Um, I'm learning that there's a difference between honesty and transparency. You know, I can be honest, but transparency is why am I doing these things and grabbing a hold of somebody, getting involved with a local church, just falling in love with Jesus, man. Here I am. You know, here I am. Just take all of me and, you know, know that you're loved. Well, John, thank you for taking a little time and sharing your testimony. We hope that John's testimony encouraged your heart and life. If it did, we, we want you to share it, like it on Facebook, and, and we will see you next week. Have a great day. Thank you so much.